What's up? Here Dr. BC and in this episode I will show you the performance review of Samsung Galaxy S5. This is Samsung Galaxy S5. For our previous video on unboxing, OTA update and sensor review, please click on the link flashing on your screen. In this video episode, I will show you the performance of a Galaxy S5. First of all, I will unlock my S5. I have configured fingerprint to unlock. To know how to do that, click on the video icon flashing on your screen. Now, first of all, I will show you the multi-touch test on this phone. My previous run has verified 10 touch points. Let's revalidate it. Put this phone on the table. Let's put all of the finger of one hand on it. Now put the second hand fingers. As you can see that this phone has 10 point multi-touch display and display is recognizing this touch. This is great feature for playing games on this phone. With one hand, one can handle the control and with another hand, the shots. Now here you can see the touch bug. Hey S5, I had put only 5 finger on you and you are displaying 9 to 10. So you can see that sometimes the capacitive touch of Samsung phone become over responsive. This make ghost touch effect. Now this is ok. Now let's move to the next test. Actually this is not a test. This CPU jet shows the detail of device. As you can see that this phone has ARM Cortex 15 CPU at 1.30 GHz. Let's zoom in to see the clear picture. This has ARM Cortex A15 CPU at 1.30 GHz. This has 8 cores. Clock speed is from 500 MHz to 1.30 GHz. These are its 8 core. Core 0 to 3 is from fastest CPU and 4 to 7 is from slowest. The slowest one is at 800 MHz. The total CPU load is 9%. GPU vendor is ARM. It is Mali T628. The scaling governance is interactive right now. Let's see the system tab. Here is the model number SMG900H K3GXX. This is build number KOT49H.G900HXXU1A and CI. Android is 4.4.2. The kernel version is 3.10.9118300. The screen resolution is 920 into 180 and in DP it is 360 into 640. The total pixel density is 480. The total RAM is 1865 MB and out of that 536 MB is free that is 28 percent. The internal storage is 11.57 GB and out of that 10.42 is free that is 90 percent and the root SS is no. Now let's see the battery tab. Health is good level at 47 percent. Power source battery, status discharging, temperature 36.1 degree. This gives the list of sensor on the phone. This has acceleration, gyroscope, magnetic, barometer, proximity, RGB, step detector, motion, rotation, orientation, HRM, gravity and other sensor. The list is too big. Let's reduce the zoom and now go back to the application list. This is Antutu benchmark. Here is the home screen. Antutu doesn't update their database. And here is the phone by model number. Tap test to initiate the test. And then tap this green test to start test. Make sure this is checked. Now tap test. This test will take time. I will fast forward this for you. Here the final result is loading. Good to see my device on the top of the list. The N22 benchmark gives 35829 score to S5. This is the highest among the entire present device. Note 3 is below this. I can share this result over my Facebook and Twitter account. Skip this. Here you can see the detail of the test result. Here you can see that CPU can support large apps and game. You can see the detailed result here. This cover UX multitask 7151, runtime 2247, RAM operation 2316, RAM speed 1707, CPU integer 4718, float point 4175, 2D graphics 1631, 3D 9747, IO 1517, database 620. Now go back. 
Now go back to home screen. The result is amazing and score is 35,829. That is A+. Plus. This is my Nexus 5. If I compare the result, Nexus 5 has got great score while actual score is 22,429. The score from S5 is far better than this Nexus 5. Let's quit onto 2 benchmark. Tap OK to exit. Now I will show you the quadrant standard on the phone. Now tap this, run full benchmark. This will take time. I will fast forward this run. Now quadrant standard has finished run. Tap yes to proceed. This will send benchmark to server. Oh my god 22889. This is far better than other in the list. Now let's see the detail. I will take the phone closer to the camera lens. The total score is 22889. CPU. 92188 memory 10722 io 8661 2d 825 3d 2047 this is amazing score let's quit the quadrant standard now i will show you the nanomark 2 this is for testing gpu now this standard runs in landscape mode so flip the display here you can see that version is 2.4 now tap run to start the benchmark again this will take time till this is running i will show you the display angle as you can see that there is no problem in viewing the screen at extreme wide angle. The display is visible from all side of the phone. So the phone has nice viewing angle. This is good for playing gyroscopic game. As you can see that scores comes around 60 frame per second. Here is the final score 59.5 frame per second. Now this will ask to publish data. Tab publish. Here comes the bar chart. Again S5 is top in the list. Now close the result. So final score is 59.5 frame per second. Now quit. Nanomark 2. The last performance measurement application that I want to show in S5 is Temple Run 2. Before that close all background apps. Tap to open Temple Run 2. As you can see the viewing angle. Display is visible. Tilt to extreme viewing angle. And this is required here to run this game. Now Temple Run 2 is loaded up. Tap play to play game. Now this is first run. This will go in teaching mode. Swipe up. Swipe up, swipe up, oh I am out, the game will automatically go back, let's try again, this time I had passed the swipe up, now swipe left or right to turn, swipe right, again swipe right, now left, Again left, now I had pass left right swipe, now swipe down, down, again down, down and this passes. Now tilt to collect coin, tilt right, to do that your display has good viewing angle. As you can see that display is visible, now tilt left, now right. This is to collect coin and to make runner safe. I had completed this step also. Now double tap anywhere to active power up. Now power is activated. Now I am ready to play. As you can see that there is no problem in playing temple run 2 on S5. There is no hang, no lag and the viewing angle is great. Oh I had to take right. So temple run 2 runs without any problem on S5. I will show you the detailed run of temple run 2 under different condition in my upcoming video. So in conclusion the galaxy S5 is on the top of the list in the performance rating. Till now no phone on the earth can challenge S5 in performance. This completed the performance review of Samsung galaxy S5. If you like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The subscription link is shown on your screen. For more video on S5 like performance gaming teardown and more keep watching BCD tech. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.